我が国を取り巻く安全保障環境はさまざまな課題や不安定要因がより顕在化先鋭化してきており一層厳しさは増す中防衛省自衛隊は平成30年も国内外においてさまざまな活動を行ってきましたそれではその主な取り組みについて振り返ってみます The STF routinely conducts information gathering and warning and surveillance activities in Japan's territorial waters and airspace, as well as the surrounding areas. In January 2018, the JSDF confirmed that a submerged submarine and a warship of Chinese Navy had been navigating through the Japanese contiguous zone around the Senkaku Islands at the same time. This was the first time that a Chinese naval submarine has been observed operating in the Japanese contiguous zones around the Senkaku Islands, and it is a serious escalation in the situation. Furthermore, in April, in waters some 350 kilometers south of Yonaguni Island, a number of fighter jets were observed taking off from the aircraft carrier Liaoning for the first time. MSDF patrol aircraft and others have confirmed a total of 10 observations of North Korean tankers and vessel of unknown nationality lying alongside in the East China Sea over the period of January through the end of July. The information was shared with relevant ministries and agencies. Under such circumstances, the United States and other relevant countries carried out monitoring and surveillance activities. Australian, Canadian, and New Zealand aircraft made patrol flights. In 2017, ASDF scrambled 390 times in response to Russian aircraft, an increase of 89 events compared to the year before. As of December 2018, 270 scrambles have been confirmed. Russian aircraft remain active. Including unusual long distance flights by two bombers through Japanese airspace in February 2018. Japan has a number of remote islands. In order to respond to attacks on these islands, SDF units and so forth are positioned accordingly, and information gathering, warning, and surveillance are carried out during peacetime. In March 2018, the Ground Component Command was established for the purpose of carrying out swift and flexible nationwide operation of GSDF units under the Joint Operation. Also, the Amphibious Rapid Deployment Brigade, possessing amphibious operational capabilities, is newly established to protect remote islands. And in May 2018, the first exercise of the newly formed Amphibious Rapid Deployment Brigade with the MSDF was conducted. In October, practical joint amphibious tactical training was conducted outside SDF bases in waters off the west coast of Kyushu and Tenegashima Island. Currently, Japan's ballistic missile defense is an effective multi layered defense system with the upper tier interception by Aegis equipped destroyers and the lower tier by Patriot Pac 3. In September 2018, destroyer Atago successfully shot down a target simulating a ballistic missile using the SM 3 Block 1B in a test conducted off the coast of Hawaii as part of the system qualification test of the destroyer's new BMD capability. In space, various countries are rapidly developing their capabilities to secure their military superiority. The MOD SDF launched its second X band defense communication satellite in April 2018 to be used for its command and control, and also participated in a multinational tabletop exercise, Shriver Wargame, for the first time in October.
In order to appropriately deal with cyber attacks that are becoming more sophisticated and skillful by the day, an increased number of personnel were assigned to the Cyber Defense Group as well as Cyber Protection Units of the three services of the SDF. As Japan received approval to join the CCDCOE in January 2018, the MOD is further developing collaborative relationships with NATO in the cyber area through efforts such as dispatch of personnel to the center. The SDF carries out various activities in collaboration and cooperation with municipal governments in the event of a large-scale disaster. In June 2018, an earthquake magnitude 6.1 hit northern Osaka prefecture, resulting in water supply interruptions in Suita, Mino, Takatsuki and Ibaraki Osaka prefecture. In response to a disaster relief request from the governor of Osaka Prefecture, relief water supply and showering facilities were provided. In July 2018, record levels of rain fell across a wide swath of Japan from east to west, causing rivers to breach their banks and multiple large-scale flooding and landslide events. The SDF carried out rescue operations, rescue operations for isolated individuals, water supply assistance, bathing assistance, transportation of goods, prevention of water intrusion and clearing roads. In September 2018, Hokkaido Eastern Ibudi earthquake with a maximum intensity of 7 on the Shindo scale, magnitude of 6.7, struck Middle Eastern Ibudi in Hokkaido. The SDF conducted rescue operations for people missing in a landslide. Approximately 300 SDF Ready Reserve personnel were called up at its peak for the heavy rain disaster in July 2018, and 260 engaged in livelihood support following the Hokkaido Eastern Ibudi earthquake. The SDF conducts transportation, bathing assistance and lodging assistance in the event of a disaster using commercial vessels the MOD contracts. Security challenges in today's international community cannot be resolved just by a single country on its own and require cooperation with other countries. In September 2018, the GSDF conducted its first joint training, Vigilant Isles, with the British Army in Japan. In November, the MSDF conducted the Trilateral Mine Warfare exercise with the United States and Australia for the first time in Hyuga Nada. The GSDF and the Indian Army conducted their first joint exercise Dharma Guardian 2018 in November and the ASDF and the Indian Air Force conducted their first joint exercise Shinyu Maitri 18 in December. At the Shangri-La Dialogue in June, then Minister of Defense Onodera underlined the necessity of a concerted approach across the region in addressing various security challenges and announced that the MOD SDF would continue to work on fostering Kazuna comradeship with countries in the region. Ministry of Defense Iwaya visited Singapore in October 2018 to attend the 5th ASEAN Defense Ministers Meeting Plus where he stressed that the MOD SDF would remain proactive in promoting defense cooperation among the ADMM plus nations. The MOD decided to grant parts and maintenance equipment of the UH-1H utility helicopters to the Philippines. This is the second case of application of the provision in the SDF Act that enables the MOD to grant or transfer the SDF's equipment which is no longer used.
Capacity Building Assistance is an initiative that aims to enhance the capacity of recipient countries. By utilizing its own capabilities, the MOD SDF actively engaged in programs that aim to develop capacity of recipient countries. In order to maintain the order of open and stable seas and to ensure the safety of maritime transport, the MOD SDF promotes various kinds of initiatives such as implementing counter piracy activities, providing capacity building assistance to coastal countries in close cooperation with partner states, and enhancing joint training using a variety of opportunities. The waters off the coast of Somalia and in the Gulf of Aden are extremely important to Japan and the international community, connecting Europe and the Middle East to East Asia. For this reason, Japan protects vessels of all nations from acts of piracy regardless of their flag states. The MOD organized the Japan Disaster Relief Team for Indonesia and conducted transport activities following an earthquake and tsunami on the island of Sulawesi, Republic of Indonesia in October 2018. In this international disaster relief operation, one C-130H transport aircraft based in Balakpapan transported about 200 tons of relief supplies and approximately 400 displaced persons between Balakpapan and PAL in this disaster relief operation. GSDF personnel have been dispatched to the Republic of Kenya since September 2015 and to Vietnam since November 2018 as instructors to train operators of heavy equipment essential for engineering activities contributing to high quality performance of peacekeeping operations. In 2018, the National Defence Programme Guidelines NTPG and their Mid-Term Defence Programme MTDP were newly formulated. The new NDPG clearly shows the following three defense objectives. One, to create a security environment desirable for Japan. Two, to deter threat. And three, should threat reach Japan, to counter the threat. In addition, Japan will strengthen each of the means by which to achieve these defense objectives. One, Japan's own architecture for national defense. Two, the Japan-US alliance, and three, international security cooperation. In particular, strengthening Japan's own architecture for national defense is at the very threat of Japan's national security, and the NDPG shows the thoughts to build a truly effective defense capability multi-domain defense force, which organically fuse capabilities in all domains. By embodying these thoughts through the new MTDP, the MOD SDF will make utmost efforts for peace and security of Japan and the international community. いかがでしたか我が国を取り巻く安全保障環境が一層厳しさを増す中今後とも防衛省自衛隊は国民の生命財産と平和な暮らしを守り抜くために日本の防衛国際平和に向けた幅広い活動を引き続き行ってまいります。